Hi folks, I wanted to continue the last video that I did by talking about the Filtech FY6600. This is a sweep generator or a function generator that will uh, cost you probably around 80 to 100 bucks. Uh, it's a pretty good little generator for general purpose. But for calibrating a radio or aligning a radio, I'm not convinced that it will do the job. Uh, for one thing, you have to remember that a function generator operates at higher voltages. I can lower this down into some of the millivolt ranges, but the waveforms aren't as stable. Uh, therefore, what I've done today is I've set it up using a couple of attenuators in order to get that signal a little bit better under control. Uh, both channels are set up currently with uh, uh, some high voltages. Uh, this particular channel, channel 1, currently has 20 volts. Remember, I am running the attenuation down. This channel 1, I have the wire coming out, going through the attenuation circuit, out of the attenuator, I have it in turn going into the radio. I'm going into V2 on the Zenith radio that we were testing yesterday. And it's going into the screen grid of this, uh, uh, of the mixer tube of this radio. Uh, the, uh, the signal is coming all the way through the radio. And then I'm taking it back out just beyond the uh, discriminator or the diodes and we're expecting to see an S-type curve. The other connection on the on the uh, Filtech, I have to use a T and it's the only way I can make it work and I take one wire of this T and I actually have to connect it back into the Filtech to a place called the VFO Sorry for the odd angle. The other connection I have coming all the way through and it in turn, <coughs> excuse me, it in turn is uh, going into the X axis in order to control the sweep rate. Uh, let's look at that sweep rate that I have set up. I'm currently at 20 volts again. I've got it set at 60 hertz. I've had to choose a ramp uh, in order to uh, control the sweep rate. What I don't care for about this, every time you turn it on, it's a brand new day and you have to set everything up. So you have to push all these soft buttons in order to make, make it do what it's going to do. Now again, we're taking a signal uh, going into the y-axis and that y-axis signal is going or coming out of the radio at V5's grid and we're going to put this thing into sweep and we'll see what that looks like. It's got a pretty good little uh, S-curve going on there. The problem that I have with the S-curve is I have no reasonable way to make a marker. I've tried a variety of ways. They're not uh, reliable. And therefore, what I found I have to do is I'll have to just guess that with my sweep rate at uh, 10.4 megahertz to 11, that this is the center of the, uh, of the sweep range. And I'll have to guess that this is around 10.7 but if this were way off somewhere I would have some issues with that uh, so these are some of the issues that you're going to have using this type of generator uh, I don't recommend it but uh, if you wanted to try one they're not going to necessarily break the bank um, again if you all have any comments about the video that I've made here on the Filtech FY6600 or you'd like to see it hooked up another way feel free to 
leave comments and I can shoot another video showing that part of it. Uh, I hope you got a little bit out of this. Uh, again, this is uh, uh, these videos that I'm shooting are because I spent so long trying to find this information and when it was unable to uh, get an answer to a lot of my questions and I felt like that uh, I might could uh, share some of the information, some of the things that I learned along the way. All right, enough for tonight. We'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.